Hi there. Hey, how's your day going? Not bad, you saw? <laughs> Good, just getting started here on the West Coast. You here for the Observe K8 working group? That was the hope. Okay, jolly good. Wanted to make sure I joined the right Zoom as well. <laughs> uh, I think we're in the right place. Okay. Uh, we'll give it a couple of minutes. I know one of the folks, Henrik, who is usually here, he's uh, traveling right now, um, so he won't be joining. Um, so we'll see if anyone else joins. But... Um, um do you know much about the observe k8's uh working group and what it's looking to do or are you here to learn like uh i'm so i i think i have some context on it. i work uh with the signals team and i have used the hotel operator to try and get like some stuff from my cluster mm -hmm. um so I wouldn't say I'm good or smart, but I do have a, have a good understanding of like what Mainline is doing now, and probably we're trying to get. I was at um, New Relic for like seven years, and so okay. like that's not not in Kubernetes time, but uh, but 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 pre K eight time. So like I have some context on like what you might be trying to observe and why. Yeah, yeah. Did uh, do you happen to know Ben Evans? Uh, like to say hello to, yeah, but like not not okay. well. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, I'd imagine New Relic's pretty big. You wouldn't know everyone. God. Yeah. No. I mean, and it was it was like six grand at its peak, so it's like e yeah, even even there. discounting the sales teams and stuff. That's still like a big big group. Yeah. Definitely. Um. Okay. So it looks like we won't have anyone else here right now. Um. So just to kind of give you a kind of high level of observe kates um the idea is kind of twofold one is to put together a, a set of helm charts that can be used to stand up an observability stack based on cncf projects okay. uh kubernetes um henrik's done a lot of work on that and uh let me find the repo so i'm pointing to the right place um that one uh do, 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 do. so that is the repo where um those charts are there's kind of a root a, a the the main branch is where you can kind of run it locally yourself and then there are different branches for gcp and uh, aws specifics um mm. And that'll basically stand up um, Prometheus, um, I think Jaeger, um, oh, what's it using for logs? Can't remember what it's using for logs. It might be using locally, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, and it also deploys the open telemetry demo app uh, at the same time. Okay. Um, so the intent is to give you an environment where you can play around and see with the things you do in the app, uh, how that translates to the events through observability of logs, metrics, traces. Um, kind of a second phase to that is taking what we've constructed there and then having it in a environment as part of the CNCF infrastructure so that we can have a website where people can go to and essentially play with the app and see the observability singles as a means to kind of learn about observability. So it's not really intended for uh, very skilled practitioners, but more those that are trying to get into it and understand the different pieces, how they correlate. Um, if you do this in the app, what does that mean for what I see in observability and all that kind of stuff? Yeah. Uh, so like, that was a pretty like quick spiel of the kind of different things we're looking to do. By the way, I think I think it's fluent for logs is the answer. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. Not that, not that I'm just curious, yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, I, you know what, was like, had not dived into this, this repo at all. So this is, this is a thing one for me to do is get this running uh, in the next couple of days. Oh, cool. This is really neat. Right. Okay. Yeah. This makes sense. Uh, previously, I had just kind of done these pieces separately on my own. Um, cool. It also seems like uh, I should get with uh, uh, Signa's uh, uh, Eng and see if we can at least propose like, because we could do all this with with without three different tools. We could do all with just like a Signa's install. Um. Sorry, that's jumping ahead. Sorry, that's jumping ahead. What's yeah, on no, what's just, on your mind? What's what's the stuff that's on your mind? Uh no, I'm just thinking uh Signals isn't part of the CNCF at present, is it? No. No, okay. Um Henrik might have strayed a little bit with a couple of things, but the intent was definitely to focus on CNCF projects. At least I didn't even think about that, but yeah, fluid is too. Yeah, so you're right. Now we're all CNCF. Um, so I, I can't remember if Loki is. Um, because I think Loki's there from the viewing perspective for logs. Um so I I need to it's been a while since I've looked at what Henry has done here. Um so we need to double check, but there's certainly the intent was to provide a base based on CNCF projects and then allow others to contribute uh non CF CF projects as options and yeah. then hopefully at some point figure out a way. And this is probably even further down the road, a way where you could be like, uh, I want to select tempo and elastic search and whatever else. And it builds an environment for you that has those pieces connected yeah. and able to play and see all the data that you're getting. But that's even further down the road. Right, yeah. Think. So yeah, uh, what's what's top of mind now is like these are the things that we want documented, improved, fixed. Yeah, I, I think that probably there might be some issues in that repo with the demo, um, where we probably need some cleanup. We probably need better documentation there because I think, uh, as far as I recall, the main case probably isn't as documented as well as the AWS or GCP ones. Yeah. Uh, but so and certainly any ideas you have there as to how that can be improved uh we're certainly open to prs on that um beyond that the next step is really trying to figure out how to um stand up a coup cluster with CNCF infrastructure, but triggering it from like a GitHub pages website. So, oh, that, yeah. Because we, we have an issue of CNCF doesn't want us running a cluster 24 7, understandably, because it's going to yeah. cost a lot of money. Um, so, we need to have a way of saying, kind of having a static site to describe a lot of this stuff and provide details. And then a way to say, oh, hey, I want to try this out. And if the cluster is not running, stand it up through a GitHub action and deploying stuff and then make it available and then shut it down again after some level of inactivity. Yeah. Um, those have kind of been on my plate, but I just haven't had any time to really play with them much. There are some other repos there in the Observe K8s org uh, where I was playing with um, some Equinox um, providers as the CNCF infrastructure is on Equinox. Okay. Sorry, Equinix Metal. Uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, more than welcome to have a look in there. And I was taking one approach to create a Kube cluster, but... Uh, I'm open to other approaches because I'm not entirely sure what I'd done is necessarily the right way to do it. And certainly not now, because I was probably doing that towards the end of last year. Yeah. Was the last time I was playing with that. So one question I have to start with dumb questions. I see deployment steps for GCP and ECAS. I cannot see like a, like, you know, self-hosted cluster or anything like that. Um, there's like, yeah, I, I'm, 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 
if I'm missing the docs page, help me out because it's in- insane how often I just like, like, oh, I just made this page from scratch, and it's like, oh, did you look here? Uh, I think, and I could be wrong. This it's literally the on the main readme of the repo. It's the using K3D and you run make build and then make run. Yeah, okay. I think that's literally all the documentation oh, yeah, yeah, all right. for your own. Um, well, I mean, that that for sure is something that I could do is like, hey, here's how to do this with um, K3D or with mini. But I don't know if it'll hold the hotel demo will run on mini cube, so I'd be able to get it working anyway. Uh, just it, like it hey, might work on Minikube, yeah, but certainly, yeah, if you want to validate that actually that is all you need to do on K3D, and yeah. there's not other things that aren't included there that we need to add, uh, that yeah. would certainly be great, or any other platform, yeah, and then maybe add uh, like DigitalOcean or whatever else on there, yeah, yeah, no, that would be fantastic, cool. Um, yeah, I could take that on, that's good, and then, um, yeah, like let me show it to the team as well, just because we have also been struggling with like how do we get people to like try out what's available in their cluster? Mm-hmm. Um, and so we have, I, um, what's the status of it? I, I think it's just a, like a, a fork with our exporter of the Kubernetes operator, but that's like a very partial image. So the question is, you know, cause that's really just getting like infra by default and like an available point to send metrics. So yep. it's like, this is a much more complete demo. So like, can we can we just have like hey here's the instructions for how to do this and it's just it's just the endpoint is changing so uh, that wouldn't be that hard for Signals. Yep. Cool. Cool. All right. Well, I'm gonna step through it. Um, what is is there a there's a uh, for this group there's a Slack channel. I'm sorry. I'm like for the for the main uh, Sig. I was able to find like a a doc that's like hey here's where all this stuff is, but I I didn't see that for the Observe K's group. Um, that might be something I'm lacking in terms of no what's to tabs tag observability. Um, uh, da, 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 da. there is a Slack channel for observe K8s. Okay, cool. Um, I'll find it. No worries. It's, uh, what was it called? Um, WG. WG dash observe dash K8S. And that's on the CNCF Slack. Yeah. Um what is that? Go to oh. okay, yeah. We... Okay. I probably need there is a link, there is a observe K8's working group doc in the tag observability repo, which is linked from the main page. Okay. But it doesn't have Slack channels there, so that's something we could probably. Oh, maybe add. I'll maybe I'll maybe I'll add it. Well, there you go. Thank you. Um. All right. Cool. Um. Yeah. I mean, that's the big stuff that's on my mind. I want to step through that. I actually like could run this and see how it's work. I mean, it totally makes sense to, uh, for it to exist. As far as like, you know, trying to stand it up like at user requests. You know, like I I, I let me let me try running it myself and see the shape of it and and see yeah, if yeah. that starts to make sense. And then then I'll then I'll get onto that next part. Yeah, I know that that next part like, is definitely the more challenging piece. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, my one thought is like there's all these people who want to do these like dev environment K8s like projects. And so I wonder, you know, they have these really aggressive like uh like sandbox killers or whatever set up. You know, it's like, oh, you you know, you you run this chart, then you know, we kill it 10 minutes later, 15 minutes later, right? Right. Um, and I wonder about like partnering with one of them or if they would get spooked. It's like, hey, what if you could just direct someone over here to be like, you know, um, I know Vercel has one in the Skunks Works. Um, okay. I don't know if there's if there's release yet, but you know, I I I I'm still learning. I've been like adjacent to Otel for two years now, but I'm still like learning how the org works out and uh, you know, no worries at all if like, you know, it's like, oh, they'd be down to do it. It's like, no, that's a non starter, or like, you know. We don't want to. We don't want to go use somebody else's dumb little K eight cloud. Uh, I don't. I can't think of any reason why it wouldn't be an option to consider right now. Um, I think we've mostly thought of it from this from the perspective of something somewhere that we could host and things, but it may be simpler as a first step to focus on the static site with the information. 
and yeah. then provide links to those uh places where you can run that helm chart and have things just stand well, up and because i know they're always super excited for like pump our number of deploys on this little cloud right like um Sigdadot, i know is like they have like a playground deploy that they do for for their stuff and they're they wouldn't be a candidate but i but i know that's like on their mind it's like can we get people to even just like try running a cluster on this surface um yep. and so yeah like that 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 might be like a very strong motivator for them to be like oh yeah like this is a great chance you know like back in the day with these heroku demos that were like oh please 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 yeah like we'll we'll host this and run it for half an hour on heroku yeah yeah, no, um, it's something we probably need to run past the chairs of Tag Observability just to make sure there's no issues. Yeah, well, and also they'd have to go for it. I'll like, I'll like ask, but who knows if they're yeah, yeah. interested? Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, wouldn't want to just put it out there. The only thing I can possibly think, and this might be a stretch, is whether there's any concerns about like advertising particular. Exactly. Yeah. No, I, mean, I think that's but, fair. Like, we'll just see what we'll, we'll see if anybody's interested. We can certainly ask say, yeah. and see if there's any issues. Yeah. Um, because yeah, then they could be worried about like making the process really smooth or implementing some kind of web GUI to kick their, their process off. Yeah. Which I know Vercel has, and is really proud of, but maybe Vercel's, Vercel's too big for their britches now and they've lost their minds and they're, they, yeah. they, they'll only take Elon Musk's calls. They won't take anyone else's <laughs> calls or something. I don't know. <laughs> Whereabouts are you located? Is it morning uh, for you? Uh, I'm uh, South of Boston. Okay. I'm out on the West Coast. I'm in Portland, and I'm coming down to San Francisco in a couple of weeks to talk about open telemetry. So that'll be fun. Oh, cool! Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, um, any other anything else you want to show me or make sure I understand? No, I, I think that kind of covers all the initial stuff. And yeah, by all means, reach out in Slack if you've got questions or having problems with anything. Cool. Uh, we'll do all we can to help. All right. Love it. Thank you so much. It was great meeting you. Yeah, and you too. Have a great day. Talk soon, kid. Oh, by the way, I should tell you, my name is pronounced Noshnika. I put it on the Slack as well. But in case you want to mention it to someone else, the name is Noshnika. Okay. Thank you very much. Awesome. I was looking at that, and I'm like, I'm not even going to try. Yeah, you know, you like, uh, oh, I had a great conversation with Prothamesh. Prothamesh. Prosper. I got it. You know, like or whatever. <laughs> you know, like and then you realize, oh, I should have, I should have found out in the first call. Anyway, have a good one. You too. Bye.